I think, first of all, um, the status of healthcare for Native people is a big issue. A lot of the um, IHS facilities around the nation are closing or they're getting you know, less experienced people to work there, less doctors. Um, and you know, my grandmother goes to the, the clinic in northern New Mexico all the time and I see less and less you know, um, quality healthcare providers Have there. Uh, for instance, an aunt of mine who got really sick could have had, could have been better taken care of, but had to go through the through the healthcare system within in the Gallup area around Win, uh, Window Rock area. I'm not sure exactly where, but she got really sick and had you know uh, the healthcare she was receiving was really insufficient, you know, and it was you know lack of funds, lack of uh, facilities. She got really sick and you know got to the point where she was almost dying. That they actually then they finally flew her here to Albuquerque to receive the health care she needed and, and I, I, I really bothered me that you know it took that long. You know my dad was diagnosed with cancer a year ago but they had told him that he wasn't considered priority and I'm like you've got to be kidding me you know my dad has cancer you know an illness that you know could possibly kill him um, but yet you're gonna you're gonna deny him access to something that's really needed I'm like, well, then what is considered priority to you? You know, do I have to be on my deathbed to finally get treatment? And that's how it is there. It's just a lack of respect and, and I don't know. You know, I hear a lot of horror stories from people who have to go through IHS and, and Indian, health, Indian health services and everything and, and how, how horrible it is. You know, there's, I've heard so, so many stories of wrong teeth being pulled. Um. You know. I've had horror, horror experiences with the Indian Health Service. I mean, um, <laughs> when I got my wisdom teeth pulled, um, the woman before she pulled my teeth, she opened my mouth and she hadn't drugged me up or anything. And she was like, we're going to need an ambulance outside because we're not sure how this is going to turn out. And then she proceeded to not um, put any um, um, a numbing agent in the back area of my mouth and I could feel everything and I'm screaming ow this hurts that's not pain that's pressure <laughs> that 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 was why I only have two wisdom teeth out and not all four um, first of all at our hospital you cannot have an emergency at our hospital your emergency has to be given with 12 hours notice so that they can help you out and uh, so if you were to just drive up to our emergency room and be like, your arm is cut off or something, they're not going to be able to help you. They'll, they'll put like gauze on you and help you out and then send you either an hour into Albuquerque or 20 minutes to Grants. And, uh, you know, that in itself is just insane, right? Um, another so. time I got... Um I was standing there and they were like really sick and I went to the Indian hospital last resort had a fever of 104 and I was feeling good that day and they're like we're gonna give you penicillin I'm like well you know uh, my mom's allergic to penicillin my dad's allergic to penicillin and so are my grandparents and they said all right <laughs> and I ended up on um uh, on a I ended up passing out in the hallway and ending up on a on a table with my vision just went and I fell over <laughs> It was, um, and scary. now um, that I moved to the city, it's different. Like I, I feel like um, I have to go back home, back to the res, just to get you know healthcare. Um, and even like Albuquerque Indian Health Center has just really um, the services has been cut back. Like now, I remember when I first moved here, I was able to go in that same day and get seen, like if I had the flu or whatever. And now they're turning people away because they don't have the funds to, to um, treat people that same day. You have to make an appoint appointment. And that's usually like three months you know, in the future, which is ridiculous because if you need to be seen right then and there and I don't have insurance, well, you know, where am I supposed to go? Um, I, th I think with Native people, healthcare, the healthcare system has become a dependency. And um, I really feel like depending on outside sources for, for health is not going to help us at all. Um, we uh, don't take care of ourselves. And as a 
as a family, as a country, I don't think we take that as a priority as well, taking care of our own too. Right. You know, in one candidate, in one election, we're not going to fix health care. It's going to take years and years and years to do it. Um, it needs to be addressed that we're still here and that it, um, the issues that we have need to be um, focused on too and just as equally. And then we can start changing things. We can start taking the initiative and changing things and creating something much more beneficial, healthy, and um, positive for our people.